Hello everyone! Today we are diving into the fascinating world of gambling addiction, exploring how it affects brain chemistry, specifically dopamine levels, and what interventions can help manage this condition. Whether you're studying psychology, are curious about how addictions work, or are looking for ways to help someone, this video will provide you with a comprehensive overview. Phase 1. Initial Phase in the initial phase of gambling, the brain experiences a surge of dopamine, a neurotransmitter linked to pleasure and reward. Initially, this surge is a natural response to exciting and new experiences. However, without moderation, this can lead to the habituation phase. Phase 2. Habituation As gambling behavior becomes more frequent, the brain starts to adapt. Dopamine release increases during gambling sessions, but the brain's ability to reuptake dopamine efficiently begins to falter. This results in more dopamine lingering in the brain longer than normal, which enhances and prolongs the feeling of pleasure. Phase 3. Addiction During the addiction phase, changes become more profound. The continuous high levels of dopamine lead to a decrease in dopamine receptors, a condition called downregulation. This means the brain becomes less sensitive to dopamine, requiring more gambling to achieve the same high. This phase is marked by a significant alteration in the brain's dopamine system. Phase 4. Withdrawal and Recovery Recovery from gambling addiction involves the normalization of dopamine levels and receptor functions. This can be challenging, as withdrawal symptoms often include low dopamine levels, leading to feelings of sadness and a lack of pleasure in activities once enjoyed. Pharmacological Interventions Pharmacologically, treatments like naltrexone can help reduce cravings by modulating dopamine pathways. Antidepressants and mood stabilizers might also be used to address co-occurring disorders and stabilize mood. Non-pharmacological interventions Non-pharmacological approaches like cognitive behavioral therapy focus on changing gambling behavior by altering thought patterns and emotional responses associated with gambling. These therapies can help restore dopamine function gradually and reduce the dependency on gambling for dopamine release. Conclusion Understanding the phases of gambling addiction and the role of dopamine can empower individuals to seek help and find effective treatment strategies. Both pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions play crucial roles in recovery, helping to balance brain chemistry and promote long-term wellness. Thanks for watching! If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Remember, recovery is a journey, and there is support available for those who seek it.